Hello. 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 Today, somewhere to stay. Accommodation. Accommodation for people who are travelling. Natalie, where do you like staying when you're travelling? I like bed and breakfast places. Bed and breakfast places? What are they? They're small hotels or even people's houses where you often stay for just one night and have a bed and breakfast. Oh. Where do you like staying, Kevin? If I can, I stay in a youth hostel. Why? It's a place where you can meet people. And it's a place that doesn't cost much. <laughs> Why do you like staying in a youth hostel? Why do you like staying in a youth hostel? It's a place where you can meet people. It's a place that doesn't cost much. Where do you like staying when you're travelling? When I'm travelling, the accommodation I prefer is mainly bed and breakfast accommodation. I prefer that to hotels because I find hotels too formal. Bed and breakfast accommodation is more homely. I like places that are small and uh, have a warm family atmosphere. I like to stay at places that are big and fancy. I like staying in suites. and I, The Embassy Suites is an American phenomenon, but it's where you get a nice room and a, a nice bedroom suite and a small kitchenette. Before I was married and had children, I went camping a lot, but now if we go traveling, we'll stay in a hotel. Yes. Do you have a room for the night? Yes, come in. Here's your room. Uh, where's the bed? Bed, bed. What's a bed? It's, it's a thing that you sleep on. You can sleep there. Uh, is there a bathroom? A bathroom? What's a bathroom? Well, it's a place where you can wash your hands and face. You can wash your hands and face there. Oh. Well, good night then. Good night. Oh, if there's anything you need. A towel. Yes. Soap. Yes. Don't ask me. Oh. You used to work in a hotel, didn't you? Yes, when I was a student. What did you do? I was a bellboy. A bellboy? Yes. I used to work in a hotel as well. Really? <laughs> Were you a bellboy? No, I worked as a receptionist. A bellboy and a receptionist. Two people who work in a hotel. A bellboy is someone who carries your suitcases. A bellboy is someone who carries your suitcases. The receptionist is the person who gives you your key. The receptionist is the person who gives you your key. James Brady is in Manchester on business. He's staying in a hotel. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Terrible weather. Yes. Excuse me, but what happened to you? A car went past and splashed me. My name is uh, Brady, by the way. James Brady. I have a reservation. Oh, yes, Mr. Brady. You're the person who asked about a conference room. That's right. Well, our small meetings room is free tomorrow. Well, excellent. That's just what I wanted. Good. And you're staying for two nights? Yes. Bed and breakfast only. That's right. 
Would you mind filling in this form, please? No, nope, not at all. You can have your shirt washed here in the hotel, if you like. Can I have my suit cleaned as well? That should be no problem. I'll give you a call in your room. Great. Thanks. The hotel receptionist wanted James to fill in a form. This is what she said. Would you mind filling in this form? Would you mind? That's a polite way of asking somebody to do something. It means, is it a problem for you to do this? And how did James answer? No, not at all. James said, no, not at all. That means, no, it isn't a problem. James's shirt is dirty. The receptionist offered to wash it. Well, not wash it herself, but she said that someone in the hotel would wash it. You can have your shirt washed here in the hotel. That was good news for James, so he asked about his suit as well. Can I have my suit cleaned? James doesn't want to clean the suit himself. He wants someone else to do it. So he said, can I have it cleaned? Now James is in his hotel room. He wants to have his shirt washed. He wants to have his suit cleaned. And he's hungry. Hello, James Brady. Reception here, Mr Brady. It's OK, you can have your suit cleaned. It'll be ready tomorrow morning. Can you give it to the maid on your floor? Yes, of course. That's marvellous. Thank you very much. Oh, can I have something to eat? Yes, certainly. I'll put you through to room service. Room service. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have a uh, beef sandwich, please? And an orange juice? Of course. It'll be about ten minutes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your food, sir. Thank you. Uh, would you mind signing the bill, please? Sorry. No, of course not. Oh. Sorry. Thank you, sir. In the United States, there are many different places for travelers to stay. One of them is Rancho Encantado, a ranch hotel in New Mexico. The owner of the hotel is John Egan. Let's find out what Rancho Encantado has to offer. We have two tennis courts at Rancho Encantado that are of a very good uh, surface called Plexipave. And the individual that we have taking care of them, we refer to as the recreation director. We have a swimming pool, which uh, has a sun deck around it where the guests can sit back and just uh, enjoy uh, the beautiful sunshine of New Mexico. We have a variety of services and amenities available at Rancho Encantado. For instance, we offer a laundry service on a daily basis where the guests can have their clothing sent into town and actually cleaned and pressed and they can get them back the same day. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. Hi, I'm checking out. Certainly. Um, do you have your key with you? The front desk is the nerve center of the uh, entire operation. There is nothing that takes place on Rancho and Cantado that doesn't at some point involve the front desk. And I'd be happy to explain this to you. Okay. We have three nights at this right here, and this is your tax on your room. 
This is an implied deposit of $350 that you sent in to us. I have a dinner charge, one evening, laundry, mm -hmm. two horseback rides, and one mistake. Horseback riding is a very important feature of Rancho Encantado, and it's certainly one of the reasons that people come from around the country to, to stay at the ranch. The person in charge of our stable operation, we refer to as the head wrangler. How you doing, son? Wrangler, of course, is a, a term that is uh, common in the Southwest, and it just means the person who takes care of the horses. Most of our riders have never been on a horse. We're happy to take them out and give them an opportunity to see the land and the beauty of New Mexico by horseback, not by car. They're deer and, and squirrel and a lot of beautiful birds. And the bear and elk are primarily more in the wilderness. But from time to time, like in the fall of the year, they'll come down a little bit. So we'll catch them. One, two, three, go! Hold at the knot, okay? Take your other hand and grasp the reins together, okay? Now slide your hand down toward the horse's neck. I think the reason that people come to the Southwest is not only because of the scenery itself, uh, the vast spaces and the beautiful uh, colors of the country, but also the uh, important history and the legends that surround the uh, Southwest as, insofar as cowboys are concerned and Indians and so on. Uh, this is a uniquely American uh, sort of legend, but at the same time, it's something that I think people throughout the world really identify with and, and love to be a part of. New Mexico looks beautiful. Fascinating. Yes, it is. Well, that's all for today. It's goodbye from me, from the man who used to be a bellboy, and the woman who used to be a receptionist. Goodbye. goodbye. And have a nice day. <laughs>